second issue I'm going to talk about is Kashmir, um, because uh, so I'll see if you all are awake. Uh, I was in New York last week. I saw Prime Minister Khan speak at the Council on Foreign Relations, and I heard him make a, a very strong pitch, which he then repeated at the General Assembly um, about the tragedy that's happened in Kashmir. And I, I think there's no doubt that we should all be concerned about, about the behavior that we've seen from, from Delhi um, in this conflict and in this situation. Um, but I think that I think that Pakistani leaders are making a, a mistake in how they gather attention to this globally. And I, I want to speak about this sensitively, but I want to be clear about it. Um, the mistake is not in, drawing, in, a, in attempting to draw attention to this, to what's happened. The mistake is in the overheated rhetoric that's been used to do it. I would break down the current situation in Kashmir, um, or the current issue, into three categories. The first category is uh, the Article 370 revocation, the change in the special status. The second category is the Article 35A revocation, the revocation of statehood, of basically basic democratic rights to the Kashmiri people. And the third category is the uh, extrajudicial detention of thir around 3,500 uh, elite in Kashmir, which continues today. Um, to, the, to the global public opinion, to the global audience that is looking at this, the detention of people is a human rights concern. The revocation of democratic rights to 8 million people is a human rights concern, is a political freedom concern. It, it is very difficult for, non, for people not familiar with this region to understand what the revocation of the special status means. I say that as someone who has lived in this region, who cares about this region, who is an expert in this region, it's very difficult to, to get people in outside of this region animated about the special status of Kashmir. Um, they can be animated about political freedom, they can anima be animated about uh, human rights, but this question of special status um, is, is just one that it, it, it takes longer to explain. Uh, and to me, what I heard in the rhetoric that's been used in the New York Times editorial that the Prime Minister um, dropped is more of a focus on that difficult to explain special status question and not enough focus on the human rights concern and on the political freedom concern and on the universal concerns that should be shared. And certainly, um, I think that's a lesson that, that at least I would convey.